we will continue again again thank you for watching i'm jam tv um we were talking about um you know people coming and uh, wanted to come to america and 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 they feel like uh, people are stopping them if you tell them the truth what america is people wanted to say well then oh she's over there and she don't want me to come you can come anybody can come but you know something if you know you're going to be trouble to somebody else don't come if you know you're going to come and call cousin and auntie and everybody to put you up don't come because it's going to be a problem because if you live in their house or their home and they don't have any money then it's going to be a problem you have to make sure that when you come you know exactly where you're going you got to make sure you have a job lined up for you that if you stay with somebody for two or three weeks or a month then you can go out get a job and you get an apartment and you have you on your way but if you're coming and talking about living with somebody i don't want nobody live with me because i cannot afford it i cannot afford to have somebody live with me i really can't because i don't have money to keep them because when they come they want everything because when they come and see the meat and the food and the this, they're going to start eating like there is no tomorrow and you're going to have to be buying the food. When you are, excuse me, when you are here and you just live and, and eat minimal, people, people come in your house and start eating like there is no tomorrow. And by the time you buy a gallon of milk, the gallon of milk is gone and then you don't have any more. By the time you buy a, a gallon of orange juice, it's all gone. I have people live with me all the time. And it costs me a lot of money. Because people not using their discretion and say, well, then that, oh, yeah, oh, oh you have to buy it. Oh, no, I'm in America. I, oh, yeah, I can eat. I can. Oh, my God, there's meat. There is this. There. I couldn't get it in Jamaica, so I'm here. No, I'm going to eat it. If you're not buying it, you can't eat it. If you're not buying it, you can't eat it. And if somebody else is buying it, you're going to use your discretion and you're going to eat and leave some for somebody else. You're not going to get up and eat a whole pound of meat for yourself and leave nothing for the person behind. You're going to use your discretion. I have Jamaica people come and stay with me all the time. And I have to wonder where are these people discretion. They eat everything. They wake up in the morning and there is two eggs. They eat the whole two eggs. They wake up and there's two slices of bread. They eat the whole two slices of bread. Not thinking that you want something to eat. And then that costs animosity. That costs feeling. Because if I go to your house and you have two slices of bread, I may take one, I may take none at all. I would rather die for hungry. You're not going to find fault of me to say, oh, she come to my house and she do this and she do that. No. Because I know people have to work for things. I am not going to say, I'm going to do and do and do. No, I'm not going to do that. I am not going to do that. I am going to use my discretion. And I'm going to get up in the morning I'm a, and if I'm not working, I'm going to make the breakfast for you. When you come out, you're going to see the two slices of bread there and, and the two eggs there. I already scrambled it or whatever it is for you when you come out if you're going to work. But you have people who leave the country and come up to America or Canada. And let me tell you something. It's always a... And, oh, I'm not going back to that person's house. Oh, she did she did. It's not that not that at all it's the way you behave it's the way you behave you bring your bad living from back home and you bring it in at somebody else's home and you expect it's supposed to be so it's not supposed to be so we're supposed to use our discretion we're supposed to have feelings for the other person think about the other person i stay with people all the time before my life becomes what it is. And I tell you, 
I never let anybody have anything to say about me. Never. I work like a dog. I put their clothes in washing machine and I wash and I clean and I cook and I do all the things. When they come from work in the evening, nothing to do. All I do is share the dinner and put on the table. And they're glad that you are there because what? They, come, they came home from work. They don't have to cook. They don't have to clean. When they come home, house clean and smell good and look good. That's how I go to work. Oh my God, I have people come up from Jamaica. They sit and wait till I come to work to cook for them. They sit and wait until I come back from work. So I can cook the food. All day. They eat whatever they can. And all day they sit there and wait until you. That cause feelings, my dear. That cause feelings. Because you're going to say, what, 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 you know, what is this person doing in my house? What is this person doing in my house? You can't cook, you can't clean, you can't do anything. And yet, that person leaves. And that person go back to Jamaica. And let me tell you something, your name is, your name is on the top of the list up there. Your, what I used to say, Ron Mangoose, your name gone abroad. Your name gone abroad because they tell everybody bad things about you. How you house dirty, how you this, how you that, how you living, how you that happened to me. As long as you don't do what they want you to do, your name gone abroad back home. And they make up all things that is not so to tell people that this is your life and this is what you did and this is what you did and da 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 and all kind of wicked evil things. Same person that you put up. I used to put up so much people in my house and I said, let me tell you something. If they come from Jamaica, they walk by. I don't even want to say hi to Jamaican. Because they have a saying that says, who feels it knows it. Because if you don't want to do the things they want you to do, you are evil. You're bad. Although you're Christian, although you're living a good life, although you treat them very nice, you're bad. They steal your things and they're gone. You know how much people I have come here to stay with me and steal my things and leave and gone? They take all my, my knife and forks. China wear. They take them and they leave. You don't even know where they are again. Because you can't find them. They make sure to get somebody else that they can go to their house. And they can stay at their house. And, and, and they move from house to house. And while they're moving, your name is on the carrier list. So please. Be careful when you come into uh, America or Canada. Be careful. Because even if it's family, family get turned off easily. Because when you come and you're not doing anything, people get turned off. People get turned off. If you're not doing anything to help them. All right, I understand that you're not working. But when you come, do something. Do something. Help them. If they have children, help them with the children. Do something. If they have lawn to cut, you cut, cut lawn. Clean up. Let them see that you do something. Don't let them come from work and have to be doing all these things. Don't let them come from work and have to be doing it while you sit down. It causes feeling. It, 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 it's not right. And if they say anything, then you get upset and you start pouting, start walk a road. I'm not going to eat their food. And you go to the road and buy food and come home and you start doing something and start speak quietly on your phone and whispering because you don't want them to hear what you're saying. Those things are not that. That's turn off right there. That is a turn off right there. And then they're going to say, oh, dear, you let me come up here and this is what you let me come up here to. You let me come up here and this is what you're doing to me. It's not that you're doing to you, you do it to yourself. Because you come up here and think that you're going to come up here and be somebody going to be made to you. Nobody I, 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 I be made to anybody in America. Nobody's got made to anybody in America. 
you have to do things for yourself. You have to do things for yourself. It's very hard. As I said, people up here would like to go back home and can't go home because they don't have any money. And if they go home, they have nothing to live on because they left there so long without money. Might as well they stay to the evil that they know. People live here and would love to go home. It is hard. When people leave their good job back home. All right, I can understand if you don't have any job and you're a bomb, you're not working, you live on the street, uh, you know what I mean, on the street day and night, walking up and down, maybe you feel that that would be a good fit for you. But you know something? It's not going to work because if you come in here and you don't have a job provided for you or you don't get a job in two weeks, you're going to be on the street because people are going to start feeling bad. And then you and them going to start quarreling. And then you're out on the street. You have nowhere to live. You have nowhere to go. I'm not trying to make you feel like you shouldn't come. Yes, you come all you want. It's not my place to tell you not to come. But you know something? When you come, behave yourself. Because it's very hard. It's, if, you, if you're not a hard worker and if you never work a day in your life, please don't come. Because you have to have two jobs in order to pay your bills. Because $10 an hour cannot pay your bills. Because if you want to live and look good in a car and in a nice place, if you want to go live in the dump, yes, you can go there. But if you want a nice place, and a ni it, it's expensive. Now to get a good apartment, a two-bedroom apartment or a one-bedroom apartment, a one-bedroom is going to run you over $1,200 a month. Maybe you're not even working $1,200 a, a, a month. Because if you're making $10 an hour, it, it, you're not making a lot of money. And then you have a car payment, car insurance, light bill. You, you know, maybe the apartment, you don't have to pay water bill. But those are the things that you have to uh, uh, look into. If you have somebody who sponsor you and you come out and you get a job, then that's a different thing. But come up on a visa and run away and don't want to stay and run in here and run in there. That's a no-no. That's a no-no. That's not good. So think. My mother always said, think. Think twice before you enter. And the other saying that look before you leap. It's not everything that glitter is gold. People come down there and people use the one money. To pay their bill. Save, save, save. For Christmas. To come down there and come out with bling and bling. And you see them come. Oh my God, that boot. Oh, they buy the boot and sale. And they, they tell you says how much money. And you feel, oh my God, he's living like a God. I want to go there to live like a God. Nothing go like that. He's down there or she's down there fretting. For the rent that she has to pay when she come back. Down there fretting for the light bill and the water bill. If you're not making enough money. If you're making good money, well then you don't have to worry. You see. But if you're not making good money, forget it. People come, come down there and, 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 and showing off to say they have this and have that and the other. And then people feel bad. Oh, I want to come to America. People are killing people because they want to come to America. Want to go to Canada. Because when they see you come down there, oh my, I have a Gucci, I have my Louis Vuitton, I have my whatever. And so, people want it. They're robbing you, they're killing you to get it. Nothing, nothing. You have to work hard, 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 hard as nail, in order to make two ends meet in America, in Canada. If you want to live in the government and live in some, uh, you know, place that's inhabitable, then go. But if you want to live a good life, as a decent person, you're going to take hard work. Okay? I'm not trying to make you not coming, but it is hard living in America and hard living in Canada. It's not a better rose, as some people may want you to think. Thank you again for watching I'm Jam TV. Have a great afternoon.